Oh, this camper is crazy. We've got a front kitchen in something that's only 21 feet long and seven feet wide. You can tow this pretty much anywhere. Ground clearance is amazing. Let's take a look at this ePro 2024 20 FKS. ePro is currently making some of the most sought after single axle trailers on the market. Why? There's a ton of different reasons. Let me dive into a few. This is going to be one of the designs that works really well in their larger series and their dual axle trailers or tandem axle trailers and has done extremely well after its release with its brand new design. Let's take a look around. On the outside, what makes ePro just different from the rest of single axle trailers? Let's start off from the very front. They're always gonna have these front windows that is going to pay off a lot better on the design that's on the inside of this guy. On the front nose cap, it is a molded fiberglass versus a laminated fiberglass, taking that brunt going down the road quite well. Underneath that, you do have it diamond plated. So that's where it's a lot of the rock and debris is really gonna hit the most. A full steeple uh, body on there. You've got dual batteries as well as dual propane tanks. On a single axle trailer, that does actually come in fairly rare to have that much propane and that much battery power. Couple that with the fact that this has 200 watts of sta uh, solar standard up top. And to add to that, it's got an 1800 watt inverter. So you can use a lot of your 110 devices that you normally wouldn't if you aren't hooked up to a campsite. That is a fantastic addition, standard on an ePro. As we come around this side, it is going to be a slide out model. You're gonna have a window up top, coming down, the walls are actually Asdell siding. So that is a vacuum bonded uh, fiberglass onto a plastic composite backing into a foam block foam core into uh, Asdell on the other side. There's no wood in the walls whatsoever. It's six sided aluminum framed. So that's top, bottom, sides, all the way around. Six sided aluminum frame. And if you look actually inside, you pick up the bed, they are actually aluminum framed instead of wood framed, which you get in a lot of other campers. Very different from other single axle trailers is it's not a wood framed on the actual trailer itself and it's laminated fiberglass front we do have the docking light switch here you have a little bit of storage just on this side it's a little bit of a prelude to what's inside this trailer a new addition for 2024 are these stable jacks the quick drop stabilizers easier to put down they actually say that this is now rated to use a drill I guess the others aren't rated but we all used it nonetheless this is going to have two points of stabilization on every jack so that gives you a lot sturdier uh, positioning for your trailer when you're out camping so it's not shaking around off of one point of those old traditional scissor jacks. Up top here is your slide going all the way across nice frameless windows. Down below you do have the off-road tires that gets you sitting up a lot higher. Some people ask where is the spare tire on this guy? It's not on the back. It's actually mounted below and that gives you uh, one of the lower points of clearance is just going to be your tire. So bouncing off some of the rocks and debris as you're going down some of those rougher roads with that higher clearance. Now this is actually your black and gray tank dump down here. It is a split tank and that is another foreshadowing of what's inside. Freshwater tank fill here. You got your suburban uh, heater exhaust. You have your, your water tank heater, cable, satellite, city water connection antifreeze inlet, power connection. On the back, so nice to see that there's ladders on these smaller trailers. This is a seven foot wide trailer. Now, what the confusing thing on that is it's seven feet wide from the wheel well to wheel well versus the actual body. The body is a little bit skinnier than that. Climbing up this ladder, you actually have a walkable one piece construction roof. Now. Again, smaller trailers, having a walkable roof, so nice to have. This is your junk in the trunk. You got plenty of storage back there that goes well deep inside. If you look up top, this is actually the frame for the bed. It's aluminum, it's not wood, it's lighter weight, it's more durable. It's gonna treat this trailer really well for years to come. Two inch receiver on the back for your bikes. If you got an e-bike, throw it back there be able to get around just fine. Outdoor shower spray hose, hot and cold taps. Do you have a tank flush so you're not throwing that hose down the tank? 
or down the uh, toilet to clean it out. On the awning, this is a huge awning. Almost the entire size of the trailer. You've got your railing up here, so you can imagine yourself cooking out here underneath the awning, keeping in the shade. Today it's really hot. I can tell almost a 10 degree difference just jumping in the, in the shade underneath this awning. More, more, more storage. The slam latches, new for 2024. When that comes down, magnet hold up top. Don't have to clip it. When you're ready to go, ready to go. If you're familiar with those twist, lat twitch, twist latches, uh, they spin and spin and spin and they get a little bit cumbersome. We pull this out. This is a prep tailor table here. Pull that out again. And you've got your two burner stove. Let's open that up and take a look. I mean, come on. You're not impeding the entryway in that cook area. It's not right next to the door. You've got some space underneath the awning. What more could you ask for? Your quick propane connection, you've got two of them. One near the railing. So if you wanna put up a griddle, maybe something like that, one near the end, so you can connect to your two burner stove. And to boot, it's got the grab and go fridge. The grab and go fridge right up front here. This is for your outdoor beverages of choice. Or if you want some prep stuff, you can get it right from there. Don't have to track in and out of the trailer to get any of that food to prep. On the front, you already have the 200 watt solar up top, but say you're parked in the shade and you want to run out a solar panel and chase the sun around, you have that option right there. Solid steps on the way up that tips the ground. When they hit the ground, it's not gonna shake around. So it keeps it very stable when you're going up. If I flip these up, they're not necessarily assisted, but they fold right in. So let's take a look inside this 20 FKS and see what all the buzz is about. So upon entry, I don't know if you already noticed it, but boom, look at that kitchen on a single axle trailer. You've got so much space in the kitchen, nice bright window up above the sink, so much light in here to be able to prep food, cook for the loved ones, cook for yourself, really be the highlight of that camping experience. You've got your inverted 110 plugs right up front. So if you wanted to put, hook up any of those kitchen appliances, you'd be able to use them without being plugged into a campsite. You have USB and USB three chargers on there. And you also have one on the other side. They opted for the larger oven of RV ovens. So you can actually fit in quite a bit of food in there and be able to prep for a lot of people. Three burner stove, knife rack on the back, vent hood up top. I mean, for something that is seven feet wide, a single axle trailer, we're talking about a lot of amenities, great workable space for the chefs of the campsite. Up top, there's gonna be a lot of food storage, anything that you'd wanna put in there. The nets hold pretty well. Anything that's topsy-turvy, you might not wanna put up up high, that's gonna fall out. All right. On the sides, you've got the nicer hinges on here, pretty heavy. You have a nice big uh, spot for any of your food, pots, pans, and even below, you have nice storage for pots and pans. It's nice to put it on the floor. This laminate on here is, can take a lot of abuse. So if you do have those pots and pans that get a little rough, being able to throw it down there makes it a lot nicer. More storage. Let's go from top to bottom to top. More storage, more storage, more storage. So it's hard to beat something this small of a trailer. Remember, we're in something that's about 21 feet in length and having all this kitchen space and storage space up front. Really well used, especially for the chef in mind. So now that we've looked at this beautiful space for the kitchen, let's take a look at where the fridge is. Still part of the kitchen, but this is going to be that deeper 12 volt fridge. Now everyone says, ah, that 12 volt fridge can't be that good. But let me remind you, an hour to cool down versus a day to cool down. You can run it while you're on the road. You don't even have to use 
so much of the battery power if you're connected to your seven pin connection with a charge line to your vehicle. That is enough to charge and power this fridge. So you stop at the grocery store, you throw the food in here, you don't have to worry about running propane going down the road, you don't have to worry about draining your battery. And keep in mind, there's 200 watts of solar on this trailer standard with an 1800 watt inverter. Absolutely fantastic for this size of a trailer. Now flipping around to the backside, now you start to see where this all comes together. You've got the jackknife couch on this side, great lagoon table. I'm so glad they switched to this lagoon table style so you can move it around, it stays attached. It's not nearly as cumbersome as a folding table. So you are able to use it a little bit more. It may not be as large, but I feel like it is a little bit usable. The hard thing for me is even though I am tall, that TV is placed a little high. If we could just move that down a little bit, probably be the benefit of this. But other than that, this layout, absolutely fantastic. A lot of storage up top, running along. Let's open these up, take a look. Nice holding hinges up top, keeps everything out of the way. Keeps everything closed. It is soft closed, so it's not gonna come slamming down. It's just the nice touches that ePro does on this smaller trailer that really make it something fantastic. Now let's open up the bathroom, take a look inside here. Plenty of room. This does have the shower miser system. So when you are off grid camping, water is at a premium. You only have what's on board. So using the water just to have it heat up, you turn the shower on traditional showers. You're just going to run and run and run and waste that water until it heats up. The shower miser is actually this blue tube right here. And there's a level lever on the other side that when you flip the lever, it'll recycle that water through the hot water tank until it gets warm. And when it gets warm, this blue pipe, turns red. Blue is cold, red is hot, flip that lever, now the water's coming out and you haven't wasted anything while you're heating up your shower. So we've taken a look at the shower, now let's take a look at the rest of the bathroom here. Nice little reverse shot of me. Then you've got your medicine cabinet in there, looking great, carries a lot of material. Another netting up top, maybe if you want to throw towels or something up there, great place to store that. You do have your little hand towel rack. 110 outlet, again, inverted if you wanna run any of your 110 at home appliances. More storage down here. Maybe that's uh, the prepping for the toilet paper. Easy access. Then you have your access to some of your electrical and your low point drains. Now as we back out, this is where things get interesting. What we have back here is your bed. This is the main bed you do have storage underneath. You do have the 110, or sorry, you do have 110 that is inverted, and you do have a USB and USB 3. You do have a spot for some of your undies down below. You do have some storage up here for some more of your clothes. Maybe a little bit more limited storage on the bed, but bed right here, and shocker, bed right there. So this makes it into almost a three person sleeping situation. And this bunk goes all the way across the trailer. So you got a ton of space for some of the taller kids as they're getting older, you still can go camping with them and be able to have someone down below, a couple down below, their kid up top, maybe a kid on the jackknife here and you're out camping and you're staying very, very comfortable. At 6'5", I actually fit fairly well in this camper with the big cambered roof that actually helps a ton, especially in the Pacific Northwest where we're getting pine needles, leaves, snow, sleet, rain. And the worst thing for a trailer is just collecting material up on top of the roof. Because this slopes so much, it helps dissipate a lot of that material buildup. You don't have that material building up so much that it's creating pools of water that finds its way in. It helps shed that water, shed the material, keeping your camper in your trailer in great condition while you're using it throughout the life of it. Keep in mind, 6'5", so the head height is great. The AC is a little bit awkward for me. Yeah, and I'm maybe on the taller side of uh, humans. Um, so just keep that into consideration when you're seeing me walk around this. Now, one thing big to consider is what is this like when the slide is in? How does it look when it's traveling down the road? You have to go to the bathroom, which is located right here. You might have to get to the fridge located right here. 
while the slide's in or it's parked and you're in a tight storage situation. So let's bring the slide in and see what that looks like. All right, with the slide in, this is where we're at. Now, you might think you'd be able to get to the bathroom. It's a little bit iffy. Um, let's try. You gotta be really squeezing to get in there. So that's, uh, it's probably not the best for being able to use the bathroom on the road or while the slide's in. The jackknife sofa, there's no way you're putting that down when the slide's in. It's just gonna hit the wall. But you are able to manage to get around. You can get to a lot of different things if you are using storage. I can come back here. If this bunk back here is some storage, I could use that um, while uh, it's, the slide is in. I can use the kitchen, no problem. The fridge, you can open that up, no problem. Plenty of space, well designed actually. Not gonna be able to use the microwave while it's in. The door is gonna hit the slide. But other than that, I mean, if you're running through, you're throwing food in the pantry, you're ready to get going, it's pretty easy to be able to load up this trailer without having to put out the slide. So that's it. This is the 20 FKS by ePro 2024. If you want to find out more, you can always download the brochure in the link below, or you can contact us at apachecamping.com.